Hi everybody, I'm Laura Harris-Smith. Welcome to today's Daily Pit Code. I think we are going to have a wonderful, wonderful study on angels because I keep hearing from so many of you. I apologize for not getting to your responses sooner, but let's get right to it. Okay, this first letter is from a man named Jeffrey, and he is describing angels to us and what they looked like. He said they had no wings, no females, just male-looking beings of larger than average height and girth. During one instance, I saw several surrounding a group of worshipers, so he must have been in church. They were protecting and interceding. Other times, I've seen similar beings standing around certain people doing the same thing, protecting and interceding. I can't remember what they were wearing or their faces. That type of detail seemed too obscured. Wow. Okay, so now we have another letter that has come in, and this one is this one is from my husband, Chris Smith. I wanted to read this one to you early on in the series because it's pretty dramatic. I was jealous, frankly. All right, he says, I encountered an angelic being while on a business trip in Canada in 1993. I had a dramatic encounter in my hotel room that resulted in me being translated. He says, I know that sounds strange, but if you'll look up the word translated in your Bible, you'll find it. It happened in Acts, uh, it, in the New Testament even. So some translations say trance, like a trance. Nonetheless, he says this was not a dream, okay? Listen what happened. He was taken to a place uh, reminiscent of a large cavern, he says. I was sitting in a circle with several people and was approached by an angel being. The angel was about four feet tall with a beautiful, round, youthful face dressed in a long robe with a belt around its waist. It had both male and female facial features. It had a heart-melting smile, was full of joy, peace, and seemed full of compassion. It approached me carrying a censer of fire, and I experienced what many people describe as the baptism of the Holy Spirit and fire as the angel waved the censer around my head. No, I hadn't eaten pizza before I went to bed, nor had I been drinking. The supernatural realm is very real. May our eyes be opened, as was Gehazi's. And of course, he's referring to the story in 2 Kings 6, when Elisha's servant was afraid in battle, and Elisha prayed for him, open his eyes that he may see that greater are those who are with us than those who are against us. And whew, God did it. And he saw things just like these two gentlemen are describing. All right, I have tons more entries to get to, but please keep sending them in. And I do and I will every day pray 2 Kings 6 over you, that God would open your eyes and show you that greater are those who are with you than those who are against you. All right, I'm Laura Harris-Smith. I hope that you're inspired. And I hope that you'll remember our verse, 1 Thessalonians 1, 3. Continually remember before our God and Father your work produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ.